Hey everyone, I'm Basanta from Smarter Guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply chroma key on Final Cut Pro X or Final Cut Pro 10. This is useful, especially if you don't have explicit green screen. Like if you have green screen, it still works, but you don't have to apply many settings, but you can work with even if you don't have the green screen. Please subscribe and share my channel and click on the bell icon next to subscribe button so you will get notified of my future videos. Now starting my Final Cut Pro 10. First of all when you launch you won't have anything. You can uh, apply the existing background from here in this section or you can just import it from the finder section or you can import from the finder just by dragging and dropping on this section right here. In this demo, I'm gonna show you a couple of different backgrounds and how does that play out for a specific video. And one specific note and uh, recommendation for this guide is you don't want to use the color on your cloth or hair, anything that is same as the background. It has to be distinct, but it doesn't necessarily need green background and the background should be well lighted if not the quality may be a little bit less on the output so with that said let's start if you see here i have so many things on the background like uh, this object here and this lining between the wall and the ceiling and on the bottom section there is a carpet and everything anything like that so i don't want that part in the background because it won't work if i still include that for that i need to chop off that section so utilize crop and remove that section these objects and keep the things that are only required for you this background it will go away anyway so you don't need and chop off as much as you can because there might be slight difference in the lighting on the corner and middle section so just like i have little bit difference and my quality may not be very good so with that said uh, if you see here in this section the lighting is a little bit dark and in this section it's pure white so i want to increase the size and i want to work on a small very small size so this should be enough now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the different color you can do on any solid color i recommend you using the solid color that is not same as the current background or the original background and uh, don't use the uh, colored picture like uh, this one uh, you can apply that later on but while processing uh, or applying this effect don't use that because this has different colors you don't notice that whether the background is fully removed or not so with plain background though you can see whether it's removed or not and with that said you'll be applying the effect keying and you'll get that from this little icon that's a layer icon here and if you click on that you can go to the all and browse through or directly jump into keying and from there drag and drop the key here and note that in final cut pro 10 there is still one bug and sometimes uh, even if i drag and drop it doesn't work properly it doesn't reduce anything it's like pretty much like original in that case you may want to do it twice just to get rid of that bug and um, just hide the first one don't touch anything on the second one however you need to change the you need to change the setting of the second one this strength it has to be zero first because by default if you have green screen it works without any thoughts and the strength 100 percent that's perfect but if you don't have green screen you need to remove that strength so it won't remove any color based on that green base uh, chroma key filter and you apply your own strategy make it to zero and then disable all these selected buttons like right now this uh, transformation is enabled you don't want to enable that while uh, applying this effect it won't work because you need um, some of the keyboard shortcuts and uh, uh, pointer and everything you don't want them to select it so after you disable all these selected options put the pointer on the background that you are working uh, for now i'm using black background and press and hold shift and then drag and play with it a little bit it may not work for the first time 
but eventually you'll get so now if you see i got some of the black here i don't want that and to ever that i just go here and fill the holes what does that do is it fill the holes not all the background but only the holes that are surrounded by some other uh, colors but if you overdo that it will bring back a little bit of the background so it, it has to be somewhere between see here uh, some of the background started coming back so for that it doesn't happen in first time so you have to play with it and now if you jump to the color now you see this is very nice and it's it doesn't look that bad uh, and but if you look at here you still see a couple of things like uh, here a little bit of things but if you are on some of the other background different colors it may not be noticeable at all so if you are using plain background you still need to work through that for that one other thing you can do is you can just copy all this image and paste it on top of that and go back to the um, this section right here and uh, apply the fill holes all the way to down for one one of the video this video one of the top video uh, let's say if i copy that copy paste for this video i want to um, remove fill the holes okay i go here I want to remove fill the holes and for this video however I want to fill all the holes in that case it may look a little bit better see here this is the another trick so see in white you won't even see and you need to play with this as distance as well and a little bit on that side and the spill levels as well you need to play with it a little bit yeah this is this is perfect now if i place my original background it won't even notice similarly i want to show you on the another video like uh, this has a uh, different clothing which pretty much looks like the background it's very difficult on that scenario and you won't get uh, proper output because this color right here if you see this uh, because of extra lighting and this color pretty much looks like this color so in that case if i want to apply chroma key it's very difficult uh, let's see uh, let's try to do that but it's still it's very tough now if you see it applied but one more thing i wanted to do before applying chroma key is to, to chop off the background so crop whatever i don't need let me remove that uh, even i can remove this um, more whiter part you see this part is more whiter than this part because of lighting so i can just avoid that i don't need that i just need my head and some part of my fingers i want it but i can work with even not having them and you don't want that um, corner section above you don't need any of the background and make sure make sure you sc scroll through and um, you don't chop off your head actually sometimes if you go up and down uh, and if you chop off from one place another place it may be chopped off so after that it's done and apply the transformation to make it a little bit bigger that should be enough and now let's apply chroma key and drag and drop the gear right here like i said before if it didn't work on the first time drag and drop second time and only play with the second gear don't play with the first one that's a bug on final cut after that i want to um, disable all these selected buttons so that i can work with the keyboard shortcuts and mouse pointers and once i do that i just press and hold shift again and click here drag a little bit slightly 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 go a little up little up little up nice too much and drag back or you can do twice also up to here this is enough and i want to remove that part also you can do second time 
but I'm doing too much it's sometimes it's trade-off you have to do so and now this is a little bit bluish it's not actually blue but what you can do is you can apply fill hole again that it comes back I think that's pretty much one two three four. yeah that's pretty much it is now if I go back some other place it should be good if you see here in this logo here because it was white and it chopped off now it's very tough to get that back if i try to get that back the background may come back so this little thing sometimes you need to trade off and if you are on here then it still doesn't notice pretty much so it's not bad if you are on white it looks like that now it's perfect and one more thing you can do is press and hold command and uh, drag your mouse key on the corners like that that removes the edge you can also play from here that's the pretty much same thing but you can um, play it here also like that to remove that uh, white on the edge you see some of the white on my uh, hair uh, you can play with that from here see it's gone now so that way you can apply the chroma key on final cut 10 thank you for watching